my dole, molo my dole. Very well, Council. We resume. <coughs> Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, Mr. Jabati, you said you had. Uh, is it a cost, a breakdown of all the costs? Let's start with that. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Um, the ferris acquisition costs. You had given us the acquisition for the civil okay. works and marine works, so it's just the ferries that are left now. Okay. The payments by uh, GPA towards the acquisition of these ferries Um, were two. Uh, one was for 1,170,000 euros. For which of the ferries? For both. For both. Al Jamdu okay. and Kansan. Mm -hmm. And another payment was for 468,000 euros. These are both payments are for the acquisition of the ferries? Yes, ma'am, on part of GPA. Okay. And your contribution to the civil and marine works is 196 or how much was it? Yes, um, uh, what happened, we commissioned a study uh, done by independent uh, auditing firm and uh, they have produced a report and it gives a statement of affairs as at December 2013. Yes, but and you were giving us the money, the cost. Yes, and in that statement, um, which I believe my is very authoritative, is that the civil and marine works was a total of 4,353,363 in euros. The marine and civil works? Marine and civil works. So mm -hmm. it's in excess of the 173 million dollars that was reported earlier. So the figure Give is us high. the figure again, four million. Four million, three hundred and fifty-three thousand, three hundred and sixty-three euros. This is the total civil and marine works? Yes, ma'am. Where are you reading from? What report? Um, it's a statement of affairs and five-year business plan 2014 to 2018. Prepared by who? Prepared by DT Associates on behalf of the Gambia Port Authority. DT? DT. All right. Um, could you put that document aside? We'll tender all your documents as a bundle. Could you put it aside as a document that you referred to? Yes. You were also going to get us the rest of the documentation that you have. Here, tell us what you have. Um, I have the joint venture agreement that was signed between the parties, as the Republic of the Gambia and Gallia Holdings, on but March I'll, 2011. I'll show you SC35, which is a document that was um, tendered by Social Security and Housing Finance Corporation, also called the joint venture agreement between Gallia Holdings. And I'd like you to confirm whether it's the same joint venture agreement that you're referring to. Very well. It's SC35.
It is SC35? Yes, ma'am. It's the same joint venture agreement. All right. It's already admitted, so we will not tender yours. Now, what are the documents you have? Do you have the memorandum that you refer to, memorandum of agreement? Yes, ma'am. All right. Give us the details of it. Um, the memorandum of agreement um, was uh, a sales form between the parties for the purchase of the two ferry boats. What is the date? And Kansala. Date? Dated 4th March 2011. All right. Who signed the memorandum? On behalf of the Gambia government. Um, this memorandum of agreement forms part of the JVA, but the Gambian party did not uh, append signature on this memorandum. It was between the sellers of the two ferry boats and the buyers of these ferries. Who were the buyers? Gallia Holdings Limited were the buyers. But they were purchasing it from another company? Yes, ma'am. All right. Anyway, um Add it to the documents that the Commission will take a look at. Yeah. All right. What other documents do you have? Um, only the uh, uh, report that uh, says that uh, the, according to the JVA, there was 5545 equity holding. But uh, by the time the income statement was prepared, the total investment on behalf of the Gambia government translated to 67%. Uh, contrary to the provisions of the JVA. I see. You you paid more than you you were supposed to. Yes, ma'am. Okay. All right. Add it. Th that's the report from Deloitte. Yes, ma'am. Details. Right. Do you have the memorandum and articles of association of the companies? You don't have them here. No, I don't have them here. But uh, they should be in our record. All right. All right. Okay. Thank you. Let's have what you have, and we'll admit those. Yes. Um, so that we can invite your colleagues who have, who were, who actually participated in the process. Do you have any other document that would assist the commission understand what happened? Well, there was the directives from the office of the president, giving uh, details about the because the joint venture, the, the joint account uh, was not attached to the JVA, but uh, a subsequent directive came from the office of the president giving uh, account details in an offshore bank with signatories to which monies were supposed to be paid for the acquisition of these ferries. Is this by letter? Yes, ma'am. What is the date of the letter? Um, the letter, according to a report I was privy to, is uh, with reference OP28. Sorry, what's the date? Date of the letter? The date was uh, 3rd March 2011. Okay. And it's, uh, sorry, and signed by who? Um, MSY is the initial on the reference, so I presume it must have been signed by a person who goes with the initial MSY. But we have the document in our records, as I said earlier. Do you have the letter you are referring to? Mm, not the present. directive? Not presently, but it's in our records. Okay, when we have the letter, then we can, we can refer to it. Okay, thank you for bringing, bringing the Commission's attention to that. So let's have the documents that you have together. Those are the only, yes, put them together, yes. apart from the JV. Yes, ma'am, the JV. Yes. And return our JV, please, S yes, ma SC35. Yes. Thank you. So I have only two documents, the DT Associates report and the Memorandum of Agreement Very dated well. 4th March. The flags, you have flags on pages. Okay, these are the pages, pages um, 23 and 24 that have the costings that you are referring to. 
Yes, ma'am. Um, could you just clarify um, something? Uh, you flag page 24 and 25, and then you flagged another page, which is now 21. Yes, ma'am. I, I don't understand how you can have 21 over 25. Can you take a look whether it was copied rightly? Look at page 23, which comes earlier, 23, 24, and then that page seems to be 21. Do you see what I mean? Yes, ma'am. It was... Was it copied wrongly? It was bound in it error. Was bound in, it was bound wrongly. Okay. All right, we know that. It, it should in. have been... All right. Thank you. I'd apply for the Secretariat to rebind the document in proper form. Oh, thank you. Mr. Chairman, may I apply to have admitted a memorandum of agreement dated 4th May 2011 and a DT Associates report of April 2014 in relation to the Ferris Aljamdo and Kansala and the joint venture agreement between Gallia and the government of the Gambia. Gallia Holdings and the government of the Gambia.
Mr. Jabate, we need a clarification or two. Um, in the memorandum of agreement between Rodopi, Eteria, as sellers, and Contest Navigation, Inc., as buyers, we see that the agreement is for the purchase of a vessel called Papa Joe before. Papa Joju, yes, sir. Yes. We just want to understand the relevance of Papa Joju. Um, those were the original names uh, of the two ferry boats that were purchased. Sorry? And those were the original names at the time the vessels were purchased. They were registered under those names. And it was after the acquisition that the names were changed to Kansala and Belgium. Yeah. All right. Well, there is only one name. Do you have another name? Apart from... Papa Jojo. Maybe yes. you may want to look. There, there, there were two. Papa Jojo and uh, the other one was Sophia. Sophie. And Sophie. So there are two memorandum of agreement. Uh, I'll, I'll check on it, sir. Sorry? I'll check on it, sir. Yes. There were for two. All right. So we have Papa Jojo and the other one. Sophia. You'll check. Yes. I'll check and bring it, sir. Very well. So we have to state this. Memorandum of Agreement, dated 4th March 2011, between Rodopi Naftiki Eteria, on the one part, and Contest Navigation Inc., Marshall Islands, of the other part, 
on the purchase of moving vessel Papa Gio Gio the fourth. Admitted Mark SC 37A. Um, thank you, Mr. Chairman. No, not, not ready. Oh. Statement okay. of Affairs and Five Year Business Plan 2014 to 2018. Dated April 2014 and prepared by DT Associates in respect of Gambia Ports Authority Joint Venture Agreement between Gallia Holdings and the Government of the Gambia. Admitted Mark SC 37B. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Jabate, what was the purpose of the business plan, considering that um, the ferries had never become operational? Um, it was to prepare and give a true statement of the activities of the ferry companies that were registered under the joint venture agreement in preparation for the government of the Gambia's defense in the arbitration proceedings oh, okay. between Gallia Holding. All right, thank you. Um, I'm sure your, your colleagues will give us more explanation about this Gallia Holdings. And there's just one issue I'd like you to, us to address from the last time you were here um, in relation to Gambia Milling Corporation. You were asked to provide the a copy, a certified copy, if possible, of the document of title that Gambia Ports Authority had in relation to Ports Land in Banjo. Do yes. you have it? Yes, ma'am. It's certified copy? Yes, ma'am. Certified by the Registrar General? Yes, ma'am. Right. Okay, let's kindly check whether the signature page is on it before you give it to us. It has a signature page? Yes, ma'am. Who are the signatories? Um, Sir, Ali, Al, Sir Al Haji Ali Jack, Minister of Works and Communications for the Government of the Gambia. And uh, in the presence of TGG Senghor. Okay. And for the Gambia Ports Authority. Mr. Sala, Captain Sala. What's the full name there? The full um, on the copy, the name is not appearing. It's just saying in the managing director of the GPA. The managing director of GPA. But there is no Captain Salah there. Or are you giving evidence that the signature is Captain Salah's? Yes, because the name is mentioned in the document as the managing director of the Gambia Ports Authority. Yes, but you said uh, Captain Salah. That's why I want to know what is exactly on the document. Does the document bear its name? I think the copy you have. It said sign and seal with the seal of the Gambia Ports Authority. And then the signature appears. But and the name uh, is not on this, uh, it's not appearing on this copy. Yeah. But it says managing director. Yes. With the seal of the Gambia Ports Authority. Yes. So that's, that's precisely what we want. What Thank you me. are telling us now. Yes. But if you say Captain Salah, it would mean that his name is there. We have to be very careful with documents. Thank you. Thank you, Chairman. Thank right. you. Um, 
Mr. Jobate, before you hand in the document, I'd like you to look at the annex just the, the schedules. and the plants that are attached. Are you able to locate the land in issue? Um, that is the land occupied by International Milling Corporation, subsequently called the Gambia Milling Corporation. Yes, the land is within and which, which, which plan? Which plan? The plans are named. You know, there is plan A. Um, it's the third plan that is attached with the Port Authority, City of Banjul, on the top right corner with uh, an area that is marked. The third plan. Yes, ma'am. That's the last? That's the last one, ma'am. The last plan. Okay. Do you have a pen, Mr. Chairman? I'm applying for him to just put a cross where they will, will subsequently get a survey. <coughs> can you give him? A, can you give the witness a black pen, just to, a blue pen, just to mark a cross where he, according to his evidence, the Gambia Milling Corporation is located. That's the last plan. That's the last page of the plan. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Can I have it? The document, please. Mr. Chairman, may I apply to have admitted certified, a certified copy of a deed of transfer of the freehold title vested in the Gambia Ports Authority by serial deed of transfer serial registration number 2 of 75, volume 10, CD, dated 31st December 1974, between the government of the Gambia, acting by its Minister of Works and Communications, Sir Alou Suleiman Jack, on the one part, and the Gambia Ports Authority acting by its managing director, Babukar Male Sala, on the other part.
Okay. Uh, transfer bearing serial registration number two stroke seventy five volume ten MD dated thirty first December nineteen seventy four between Sir Aliu Suleiman Jack for the government of the Gambia and Babukar Male Sala for Gambia Ports Authority in respect of land delineated on the plan attached thereto, admitted Mark SC 37B. Sorry. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Sorry, sorry. 38. Sorry, it's 38. 38. SC 38. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. That's all I have for the witness. Thank you very much. You may leave. Thank you. I, I call Mr. Hali Gai. Hali Gai. Managing Director, Gambia Ferry Services. Mm -hmm. First time witness. Okay. Thank you. I swear by the Almighty Allah. I swear by the Almighty Allah. That the evidence I shall give to this commission. The evidence that I shall give to this uh, commission. Shall be the truth. Shall be the truth. The whole truth. The whole truth. And nothing. And nothing. But the truth. But the truth. So help me Allah. So help me Allah. Can we for the State your names, please. My name is Hali Abdullahi Guy. Where do you live? I live uh, at uh, Carnifing Estate. You work at the Gambia Ferry Services? Yes. Company Limited? Yes. You're the, you're the managing director? No, no. I am the deputy managing director, ferry services. Deputy managing director. Deputy the managing man director is the managing director of the Gambia Port Authority. Thank you. Would you like to sit down? Yes, thank you very much. Mr. Guy, I'm going to show you exhibit SC35, mm. this is the, which is a joint venture agreement between the Republic of the Gambia and Gallia Holdings Limited. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I draw your attention in particular to page 21. Yes. You signed that agreement? Yes. And it says you signed as a duly appointed for and on behalf of the Republic of the Gambia mm -hmm. on the 5th of March 2011. Um, Mr. Guy, can you tell us about this agreement, the circumstances leading to your signing this agreement? And um, what is about? Yeah. I'm sure, as you're aware, we are looking into the application of substantial resources 
by the Gambia Ports Authority and the Social Security and Housing Finance Corporation in relation to the acquisition of ferries under this agreement. Mm -hmm. So we would like you to assist the Commission. Thank you. Thank you very, very much, ma'am. I think uh, the first thing to say is there was a task force set up by the Office of the President. This was 17th of February, 2011. And the task force had a term of reference. And the task force, the following were the members. The Secretary General, Office of the President, was the chairperson of the task force. The Permanent Secretary, Office of the President, a member. Permanent Secretary, Minister of Finance and Economic Affairs. The Managing Director, Gambia Ports Authority. Myself, as Officer in Charge Ferris. Uh, the Chief Executive, Gaipa the Solicitor General, Attorney General's Chambers, and His Excellency, Mr. Kiabatre, Ambassador to Greece. Could you, um, apart from yourself, we only know you in person, um, could you tell us who the people were holding the various offices that you mentioned, starting with the Secretary General, Office of the President? Uh, the, the, this, uh, Mr. Njoguba. Mr. Njoguba is, was uh, Secretary General, Office of the President. Uh, the Permanent Secretary, Office of the President, was Mustafa Yabo. Mustafa? Yabo. Yabo. Yabo, yes. The Permanent Secretary, Minister of Finance, was then uh, Morseka. The Managing Director of the Gambia Post Authority was Modlem Jiba. Myself, I was Officer in Charge for Ferris. Officer in Charge of Ferris? Uh, oh, I see. Then uh, the chief executive, Gaipa, was uh, Mrs. Jalo, Fatu Mata, Mrs. Mrs. Fatu Jalo. Gaipa, chief executive, Gaipa. The solicitor general was uh, Pahari Jami. And the ambassador to Spain was His Excellency Keba Ture. Thank you very much. You can continue. Uh, then there was a task force. Uh, this was the task force. And uh, the chairman, of course, later changed from uh, the secretary general to the chief executive, Gaipa. So we were given a deadline to make sure that uh, we fulfill our term of reference. Uh, the term of reference, among others, is to determine the statement of assets and liabilities of the ferries, to review the partnership between the government and the Greek partners, the incorporation of the company, uh, to determine the working capital requirement of the new company, the management structure of the new company. Uh, but I think it's important uh, when we talk about the partnership with the Greeks. Uh, one thing that uh, pushes all of us, that was, there was a meeting, uh, one day we were in our office, then I was just the director of revenue generation marketing. Please speak distinctly and slow, a little bit slower into the mic so that the commission can follow you, yes. Uh, you said an, one- you An incident, very important incident here. Uh, that is, we were called at the boardroom, then the managing director was Molem Jiba. Then he called us for a meeting. Mr. Musafa Yabo from the office of the president came with some Europeans. They were Greeks. And we came to the boardroom and we were told that these are investors. So they said they have ferries in Greece, they can solve Banjul Barabara problem and so on. Uh, then, uh, they left, they were not very happy with the reception they have from us. 
because uh, we said it's important we carry out due diligence and we were very professional in our approach. A few days later, we were summoned by, we, at the office by of the we, president. who do you mean? Sorry. By we, who do you mean? You I said mean the management, the management of Gambia Post Authority. All right. So we were summoned at the office of the president. Myself, Mr. Mulamin Jiba, the late Captain Asbai, uh, and other. Some service chiefs were there, and who? the matter was about these Greeks. Who were the service chiefs the, who were there? The head of the army, the head of the police. I'm not sure the third one. The, I cannot remember the third one. Who was the head of the army at the time? I did, I, it was in 2011. I don't know. I cannot remember exactly. But I remember uh, the head of the police was, I think, Jesus. Was? Uh, they call him Jesus. I'm sorry to say Jesus. Jesus. All right. You know? But we were lambasted that okay, so the president was very mad on us. Sorry, said, you were saying you were summoned to the office of the president. Who summoned you? Uh, no, the managing director said we have to go and answer to the, to the president. So when you went, you. So we went, we went, the president, you know, appeared and sat, and then it was about the Greeks. He said, you know, why did he send people there? And then we were negative. And, you know, he was very angry with us. In fact, it was, you know, the environment was uh, definitely unbearable to us. So in the end, it was like we were subject to, like, kind of apologizing to the president. So I think that is who, very important. Who apologized to the president? Yes, to say that who, who uh, apologized? from, from henceforth, we'll give cooperation. Did you agree you did not cooperate with the Greeks? No, we were just professional. It's like, you know, we say, come up with your proposal, you know. Sorry, we want Mr. Guy, what I want to know, did you ag admit to the president that you were uncooperative with the Greeks? No, the president did not allow us to say anything. He just, he was just, he lambasted us, say all what he wanted to say. He never invited any opinion from us. Nothing. We are just, we sat there and we are just, like kids. Where are the Greeks present? Huh? Where are the Greeks present? The Europeans you were talking No, 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 no. The, the, the Europeans were not there. You but, and You know, other people were there. You know, other people were there. You know? Uh, on so, the, from the office of the president, who was present? Uh, my memory, I cannot remember who was. Was uh, the Secretary General present? No, the Secretary General was not there in that, in that meeting. I cannot remember. Definitely, mm -hmm. I cannot remember. But definitely, you know, the table was almost full, the round table. Go can ahead. I, can I proceed? Yes, yes, proceed. Uh, okay, so then. We were called to a later to a meeting of the task force. And we were told at the task force that the Greeks, they have uh, some vessels that are available for inspections. Then another a few days later, I was called by my, my managing director because Ferris is under GPA, was owned 100% by GPA. So it does not have an MD. So I was told by my MD, Mr. Molamin Giba, that myself and a technical person, Mr. Keba Mane, who is a technical electronic engineer, are bound to join the delegation to travel to Greece to inspect the ferries. So we, we left with the, uh, the, uh, the delegation uh, comprised of the following. Uh, His Excellency Keba uh, Esture, Ambassador to Greece, Bahari Jama, Solicitor General, myself, Hali Gai, Officer in Charge Ferry Services, Modu Sabali, uh, Modu Sabali, Director of Budget. Director of Budget? Yes, and then he was at the Ministry of, of Finance. Finance. Yes. Uh, Mr. Keba Mane, uh, manager, technical manager, we arrived in Athens 3rd March. 
Then we joined the Greeks to inspect the ferries. The ferries were operating at the time, just like in an area like Banjulbara. They are, they are landing crafts. So we boarded them with... They, one they are, sorry, you call them landing crafts? Landing craft, because they only have a front landing system, uh, unlike roll-in, roll-out ferries. So uh, we, joined, we were joined by George Karakakis, who is a, a naval architect and a marine engineer. Can you spell the name, please? Uh, George, G-O-R-G-E, -E. Karakakis is K-A-R-A, K-A-S-I-S. He's a naval architect and a marine engineer. We inspected uh, uh, the vessels. Myself, my background is uh, I'm a transport planner. Uh, from my own uh, perspective, that is the capacity I was looking at, the capacity was adequate. But I, will, I was working for the ferries as head, and uh, one thing was very important, and that is the report I have submitted here. You're, you're reading from a report? No, I'm just taking some of the points. I'm not reading. No, right. Yes. Okay. Uh, I, I stated that all the ferries, all the ferries must be subject to dry docking for rehabilitation and refurbishment and to be verified by the technical team prior to sea trials. This was not done. Prior to? Sea trials. Oh, all right. Like sea worthiness, before you have it, your, in other words, road worthiness, you have to qualify certain things in the, in the, in the weather, in, in, in any form of transport. You have to meet certain pre-qualifications to be called seawater or roadworthy. So dry docking, after dry docking, before the sea trials, they, have to, they are so, supposed to be a technical team to carry out the technical verification of the bottom of all these things. But this was not done. This was not done? It was not done. Who was supposed to do it? No, the point is uh, uh, the, uh, the arrangements were, you know, like, it's all the time coming from the office of the president to tell you, do this. And uh, honestly speaking, uh, at the time, you know, people, even though, even though sometimes all what you can do is just to write. To but what? There are certain, uh, in certain instances, you can write, but not all the time. So it was like, it was managed at the office of the president to be, to be candid. The whole project was being managed at the office of the uh, of president, the secretary general, and the president. So this uh, joint venture you are talking about uh, was the solicitor you general. You mean the joint venture you signed? Yeah, the sign, not yeah. I signed. Mm -hmm. uh, the solicitor general, they reviewed the document. I was just in my hotel. So I just came and I was told, look, there's this uh, power of attorney. You as head of ferries to sign. Then so I it said, was signed it, on that mission? Yes, that mission. They said, yes, you sign. I said, okay, but before I sign, you as Secretary General also have to sign. As I was very adamant on that. So if you look at the joint agreement, it was myself I signed, but Pahari Jame signed, actually, because I believe I, I did not have the legal framework. I didn't know anything about it. But him who reviewed the document and everything, if he signed, he should be in a better position to explain. That was it. There was a powerful attorney to sign. And it's also stated in my letter here that uh, I was shown this power of uh, attorney. I can give you the reference. It's there to sign the, uh, the, memora, uh, the, the joint venture. Had you not been given the power of attorney before you left? No, no, no. I was not given. I was not even, uh, it was not even impressed on me that you will go and sign. Um, in fact, I was caught unawares. 
because I was in charge of ferries. Mm -hmm. and, All right, and Let, let's, let's make some progress. You, you sign. Yes, I signed. Yes. So what happened? Yes, I signed, and then we came back. Report, I, I sent a report to the office of the president, and like I told you, I made this point. You that, sent a report to the office of the president? Yes, that is the is report. Is that the report? Yes. Is that a clean copy? Yeah, this is a copy. Yes, I can give it to you. you is want. it a clean copy of the report? No markings, no changes? No, of course, I have just uh, put a reference there that I need to explain. That All right. The, yes, but other than that, you know, I, uh, it's just a reference. Maybe if I give a reference, reference of what? This is reference to the, uh, it's a reference for the report of the task force. Because I searched it among my documents, but I remember I gave a copy to, to the person, to the secretary of the commission. The report is no longer in the port files? No, no. Because, no I, at one time, I was working for the port as far as I was sacked, dismissed. But you are back in the port, are you not? No, just recently. Reinstated. Yes. This I think we would prefer you locate the copy in the port since you are part of the administration now. If you can refer to any documents, I'm sure they'll facilitate you having access to whatever documents that you need. Ma, I can tell you, uh, you know, remember, I just want to take you back. After we were sacked, myself and Mr. Tambedu, we were being prosecuted relating to these ferries. And because, you know, there was a conspiracy, they took all these documents out. You All right, can you give us the date of that report? We will take your copy, yes, but you give us the me. date. It's 7 March. 7 20, March. 2011. So you came back from the mission, then you I wrote that, this, you, this, you this submitted this that report, report to the Secretary yes. General, Office of the President. Yes. Was and your MD aware of the report? Yes, of course. <laughs> of course. Yeah. I can't do that without... Uh, All right. Yes. After, well, uh, towards the end of your testimony, we'll take the documents that you have. If you have more documents, you can show us. Mm -hmm. So after you wrote that report, what was the purpose of your writing that report? Because I was, uh, I went on behalf of Ferris. I think it's proper, you know, if they are talking about Ferris over there. So I should write to explain my position as officer in charge Ferris. One, what I have seen in my, and the team, what we have engaged in, because it's divided into inspection of vessel, uh, signing of the MOAs and the joint venture agreement, opening of a joint account, and then uh, the things that I consider need to be prioritized. Uh, what about the, the opening of a joint account? The joint account, this was uh, a joint account between Gallia Holding Limited and government of the Gambia was opened in euro and dollar. His Excellency, uh, Keba Ture and Mr. Sub uh, Momodou Sabali, signed for the Gambia as authorized by power of attorney reference. The reference is here. Also Who decided the... that a joint account should be opened? That was above him. <laughs> I was only concerned about Ferris. The, the, but these okay. things, I was present, I made sure in my report I captured it. But All right, let, let's move on. So after you wrote that report, what happened? Uh, then there was this uh, executive, uh, of course, uh, the task force was having its meeting. I came back to the task force to report to the task force also. Mm -hmm. Then there was this uh, executive directive. The executive directive was for the government of the Gambia agreeing to uh, take 45% of the shares and then for Gallia to take 55. Then this 45, uh, this executive directive uh, was addressed to the managing director Gambia, Gambia Port Authority to pay, to pay the 1.7 bill for, 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 for the vessel. All right, we are listening, Mr. Guy. Let's, hmm? let, we are listening. Let's make progress. So what happened? Yes, so the amount was paid. The amount was paid. It was taken to our board of directors. There was a board resolution. You know, management was fully aware, and we paid. Over time, you know, uh, 
the board, uh, the, 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 the companies were incorporated. There were four companies. They were all incorporated by, by the task force. Then uh, on the on the third May, the task force submitted its report to the office of the president with the recommendations. A copy of that uh, task force report has been submitted to the commission. Mine is law. I, I submitted it, but I did not. I, I failed to have a copy. Hmm. Who submitted it to myself, the commission? Myself. I submitted it to. Uh, Mr. Ba, I don't know. Oh, you mean the investigators? The investigators, yes. Yeah. All right, we'll, we'll retrieve your copy. Yes. No, sorry, maybe it's mm. here. Um, mm -hmm. Yes, what was particular about, what was special about mm. that report? Sorry, sorry, uh, Council. I think it's now uh, 10 past uh, 1. So All right, um, may I then apply just to admit the document he referred to? So. Very well, very so well. that um, we can then stop here. Yes, and he can, he can come back. Can we, can we have your report, the one that you admitted to? You, you, mm. you, <coughs> you um, referred to, sorry. Mr. Chairman, may I apply to have admitted a letter from Gambia Ports Authority to the Secretary General, signed by the witness, dated the 7th March 2011, concerning a mission to Greece for the ins inspection of the intended ferries for the Gambia and signing of memorandum of agreements and joint venture between the Republic of the Gambia and Gallia Holdings. Did you sign a memorandum of agreement apart from the joint venture agreement? Yes, uh, Mr. Jobate submitted that. No, the, what Mr. Jobate submitted wasn't a memorandum of agreement signed by the government. Me memorandum of agreement and the right. joint venture. Well, those if are you the have two. signed, we will we will look. We will give what, give it, give it give them to us when you come back. All right. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.
Letter dated 7th March 2011 by Officer in Charge Ferry Services to Secretary General Office of the President Re Mission to Greece for the inspection of intended ferries for the Gambia and signing of memorandum of agreements and joint venture between the Republic of the Gambia and Gallia Holdings. Admitted Mark SC 39. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Yes. Mr. Guy, you'll be required to come back on Monday at 10. Monday at 10 o'clock. Yes. But wait for us. This document belongs to you. Very well. Um, the matters are adjourned until Monday, the 23rd of October at 10 o'clock.